Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Blank Check here, and today we return to Season 7 with Episode 8, Hard to Say Anything. Unlike the last episode, this time I am totally in the dark. My first guess would be a Fluttershy episode, but we just got one of those, and she was a lot more assertive than usual. Maybe someone knows a secret and can't tell, but we've had a couple of those episodes before. Maybe someone has accidentally gone mute from a magical mishap, like when Trixie ripped off Pinky's mouth in Magic Duel. Or maybe we're finally getting a full Slice of Life episode about Vinyl Scratch. I doubt that, but it would be pretty cool. I guess there's only one way to find out what this actually is. Alright. Oh, Canada. Hey, Apple Bloom! The Rarity's reorganizing her shop, and look what she found! CMC? Costumes from the talent show! Sweet! We can be we pirates! Handy in case we ever help a pony put on a play, or need to make a quick escape disguised as clowns! Yeah, like Pogo the Clown. Here you go, Big Mac! Big Mac! Whoa! Oh. That sure is a lot of apples! Are you making another delivery to Starlet's old village? Oh. Yep. You can't That's eat all those apples, Big Mac. Pony to go, isn't it? Yep. You've been going there a lot lately. What is this, your fifth trip this week? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Okay, well, have fun. Um. So, what other costumes did you bring, Sweetie Belle? Are you crazy? What? We can't talk about costumes at a time like this. Yeah, what? no kidding. Your brother is hiding something. Did you see the way he was acting? Yeah. I, I did. I when you brought up how often he's been going to Starlight's old village. Our town. Is definitely going on. What the heck? One reason a pony would travel so far, so often. He's taking a lot of trouble and he wants to get away from a snail. I didn't catch any of that. <laughs> but, um... Big Mac would would walk 500 miles for what the Starlight's Village? That neither neither Cheerily nor Marble Pie are located in Starlight's Village. Last time I checked, uh, uh, Hasbro, I think you made an error here. Although all those people uh, making those. Big Mac Double Diamond slash fix. Uh, I guess they're pretty happy right now. Uh, what is happening here? Maybe he's a spy on a mission to thwart an evil villain with his secret weapon. Yeah, that's it. That's the one. No, that's you, you nailed it. I think it's my broccoli thing. Why don't we just ask Broccoli. Him? You saw how shifty he was acting. It's a broccoli right? cannon, actually. There's no way he'll tell us what he's doing. Plus. I really want to go undercover. Becky Blowing Wangberg. New writer, I saw that. Me, Agent Rainbowhead. I'll be Great. sharing spectacles. A librarian with a mysterious past. Are we really? I'll be a pirate spy. Arg, a sparrot. I love it. Are we really doing this little roleplay thing right now? Avast, our ship be leaving port. Huh? Big Mac's leaving. That's a little odd. We just got episodes about them growing up. Feels a little, you know, early seasons CMC. Quick, act like apples. What? How? Just do what I do. <laughs> Flawless. This is a squeaking mission. That's what happens when Sweetie Belle does stealth. Hey, it's that one. Who's that pony? Let me see. Who's that pony? Just give me the silhouette. I don't know. I shouldn't have taken the binoculars. I don't know any pony here. <laughs> must be <laughs> That's a good boy. told me about her bakery. Obviously, she's just been ordering a lot of apples. Yeah, uh, two in particular. So nothing fishy's going on. No way! We came here to be spies, and no spy yeah. I know has ever solved a case that quick. Mm, <laughs> how many spies do you know? I've seen television. That's not important. What's important is that we do more recon. James Bond takes like two hours oh, per movie. Mm. 
We're still really doing this. We really, we think that this is a good idea. Whoa, she sure lacks her apples. What is she doing? Make you have no idea, Apple Bloom. Thanks for coming all this way, Big Mac. <laughs> it sure is no. nice seeing you again so soon. N no. No, I don't want this. <laughs> all I used to bake don't, was Don't do this to me. Thanks to your apple deliveries, I get to bake all kinds of delicious treats. Apple pies, apple fritters, apple turnovers, caramel Just like give apples, caramel apple cake. Big Mac a delicious... <sighs> I what is? I had more room to display it all. My shelves only hold so much. Well, time for Big Mac to build her shelves. She lacks her apples. <laughs> or Big Mac. And I told you, Apple Bloom. Look. It's the same thing. It's synonymous. She really likes her apples. <laughs> Sweetie Belle, I, I think you're right. I think my Sweetie Belle, I, I think you're smarter than us. Subtle. You guys, you girls are totally spies. That one's Clover. Now remember, my brother's super shy, so he's probably gonna be embarrassed about his crush. Yeah, hard to say anything. That makes sense. It's a Big Mac episode. Hey, Big Mac! It's me, Apple Bloom. I wasn't yeah. a pirate. We're here too! What? Mm -hmm. Oh, a I'm gonna video glitch. A very I thought it was going into his head. And I want you to like an inner monologue. Honestly. Like, are these Phillies serious? Do you have a crush on Sugar Bell? Yeah. He's not good. Well, that was easy. This what? is so exciting. My big brother has his very first crush. You just press the easy first button? Crush? What about Cheerily? It doesn't really count when you trick a pony into drinking a love potion, does it? No. Don't ask these questions. No. Crush. Big Mac, you have no say in this. Crush. You have no say in this. Crush. If I want to ship Wait, you... Know you lack with the teacher uh -uh. then you gotta tell her it will be forcibly against your will <laughs> we're pretty sure she likes you i mean she keeps ordering apples just so she can see you again you think so totally no oh, when he's talking okay well okay Go get her, are we really yeah. doing this right now the writing i don't know something's a little odd here that he would just go right into this. Like, no hesitation. Hey, girl. <laughs> uh, um, poetry by the pond when I saw these flowers. I nice to see the Mando ponies back in the fandom. Oh, thanks, Featherbangs. Is his name really Featherbangs? Because that's glorious. Um, is it possible to have two crushes at once? Because it yes, looks like I've seen Tumblr. Not be the only pony Sugar Bell likes. Sugar Bell, I love your apple smell. Hey, Where are you going? Home. You can't let that feather fella get in the way of your one true love. I can't You've compete with Mando down. Pony. What can he do that you can't? That. Whoops. <laughs> These balls are like you. I'll always <laughs> catch you if you fall. Oh my god, he even has his fangirls. Seriously, that line worked. She'll never pick me. Sure, yeah, alright. Show's over. Help you. He wins. No love potions. <laughs> <laughs> You're so Don't silly, worry, Big Mac. Big Mac. We learned our lesson the We're using thing. a love poison, yeah. not potion. Do that again. Besides, I know exactly what to do. When I was younger, I read all the fairy tales. When you were young. All of them. Huh? Was younger on the way here. Sweetie Belle is Lauren Faust. It was a long ride. Anyway, as long as we do what the book says, you're pretty much guaranteed a happy ending. Yeah, I think Sugar Belle would like. Well, how about this one? Rescuing a damsel pony in distress. The happy ending. That's what? Perfect. Oh no! Don't do this. We'll have to improvise without a dragon. Huh? Too bad Spack isn't here. Not that he's very threatening. <laughs> <laughs> So what okay, alright, a spike her, joke. A I'm okay with that. Or we bring the danger to her. Rainbow Dash? Rainbow Danger Dash? She's in this episode? Alright, Scootaloo's gonna pretend to take Sugar Bell's things, then you swoop in and stop her. Ready? Oh, the classic. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, I love this. Come on. 
These romance storylines, they're... Tales, the knight in shining armor always gets the girl. Mm. Shining armor's in this episode. I'll ship him with Sugar Bell. I'm fine with that. Oh, oh no! That pirate clown! Who will ever be able to stop and track down this monster? Okay, yep, all right. Here's your sugar, sugar. Though it is not as sweet <laughs> as you. I'm swooning. Can you hear me swoon? <sighs> Thank you, Feather. Yeah, That's Feather Bell, great ship. I love it. And it totally would have worked. Yep. We're just going to have to keep trying. Big Mac. No, actually. Take it up a notch. Oh, yeah. You can just not try. That'd be... A cool option with me. Trust us. There's nothing more romantic than waking your special pony from a sleeping spell with a magical kiss. No. They rode off into the sunset. But soft. <sighs> what light from yonder? Any sign of feather bangs? The hammock breaks. Negative. Nope. Coast this is clear. forty degree cone of vision. He's not in there. That that covers the entire perimeter. What is happening? No. Oh god. No, this is th uh Oh. No, that no, someone call HR. Oh girl, you've been working hard all day. Allow me to treat you like the princess. <laughs> you are. That's a harassment suit waiting to happen. The guy right. just this rented a, a chariot. Just give him the win. And a good mane. Uh, but let's see him compete with a <laughs> Sweetie Belle. Say what now? Totally in the feather bangs. Of course. Why didn't we think of it before? Every great love story hinges on the romantic musical number. Big Mac, you've got to write a song for Sugar Bell. Sweetie Belle, I don't appreciate your input right now. I think the real magic here is. Leaving. Come on, Big Mac! Feather bangs is so romantic. When oh my he god. Speaks, I pretend he's talking to me. Oh my god, it's Caddy! Come on! You can do better than him! Just like we practiced! No, you can't. No. Throw in the towel. Can this episode please just end with Sugar Bell being like, I'm a lesbian. Then we're done. We'll take a walk down by the Oh, okay. All right. Watch the sunset from the field. I'm I'm kind of into this right now. The seeds of love together. I am totally water them right for a really good year. On board for a Big Mac Sugar country song. Oh, sweet as pie. You're the apple of my eye. No, no, don't you don't do that. And when the heifers milked and fed, oh my god, are in the sty. Won't you be there by my side? Great voice. Oh my god. When you appear, hey, my stars cross the sky to come see Oh my god, he is totally like the one that made me believe I could fly. Wow, he is totally boy band pony. Whoa, 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 birds could not sing a song that's as beautiful I do. They are totally rocking this parody with this character. I painting my heart in the sky. I am on board with this. This scene has got to be my favorite so far. Like an angel on oh my god, <laughs> the fangirls and. Oh, the sunlight shining through a drain. Can we ship feather bangs with color of Torah? Look in your eyes. <clears throat> I see the color <laughs> blue. And it reminds Blue. Me of the sky uh, 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 it's, it's a dark, it's a very. Which is also blue. Interesting shade of blue. Hey, 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 
Oh, oh, that, that mayor shot right there. Every time you smile, I can feel my heart swelling. This is such a great music video parody here. Yeah, I start moving when I'm feeling that groove, yeah. But she's getting angry. Song for you, searching for the perfect rhyme. I really hope she just tells them both off. Say, some, 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 uh. Like, that'd be a fine lesson. You can't force love. I mean, Featherbangs is supposed to be the, the villain here, but... Honestly, he hasn't really done anything terrible. That might classify as terrible, but... He cleans up really fast, at least. <laughs> hold up, hold up, Mando. What would Sibsy think? What an Equestria has gotten into you two! If you think I'm the kind of pony that likes all this nonsense, <laughs> then you clearly don't know me at all! My boyfriend is coming home in five hours! No, don't give up! Feather! No, come back! I need you! I need you to stop! Whatever's happening here. Oh, her thing's broken. Well, she just- she was talking about needing shelves. Big Mac! So I guess we're gonna do that. <laughs> He's not under this rock! Well, no pony's seen him. Oh, I feel terrible! How could I've he have escaped? So upset before. This ten house town. Big Mac! Big Mac! It's impossible to find anyone around here. It's such a large city. Are you okay? Nope. Sorry you didn't work out with Sugar Bell. Yeah, sorry about that. Guess you we should head on home. Grand gestures always work in the fairy tales. But Sugar Bell's not a fairy tale princess. Cut our losses. She's a real pony. She's kind. She works hard, and she's sweeter than everything in her bakery. She's a real woman. That's it! We should have been thinking about <laughs> we want to Sugar Bell! Screw your fairy tales! Mm -hmm. oh, I know just the thing, but I'm gonna need your help. Really? Even after we missed it? Oh, her? boy. Yep. Come on! Yeah, I need you to act as... Spies. That's what you're good at, right? You three? Spy extraordinaires? Hello! My name's Shimmering Spectacles, and I'm a librarian with a mysterious past! Pl no, just... Oh, okay, I'm... Wait a minute. Please, just... You look familiar. I Did you used to have um, a pirate hat and time. rainbow hair? Mind showing me around? Uh, sure. That's the whole town. <laughs> it's just the one street. <laughs> That's good. No, what? Oh, Ma'am, you dropped your bananas. Here, let me help That's you a crime punishable by death by Celestia. I don't think Scootaloo can hold her off much longer. Yeah, they're making the, the shelves. No, uh, don't. No. no. Hold on a minute. Are you sure I Fail, Scootaloo. Fail. <laughs> Don't let her no big deal. come home, but, no. Uh, um, um. Please, stab. Okay. Take a steak and... What's going on? Stab me. Ah, the cupcake has landed! Repeat, the cupcake has landed! Right through the heart. And then... Big Mac! Let me bleed out on the floor. You made me a new display case? Uh, yep. Not the only thing I can make bigger. I have twice as much room for all my desserts. <gasps> if you use the top I shelf, you have three times as as you much. Can try baking cream pies and whoopie pies and icebox cakes and of course. If only I had a big strong stallion to reach the top shelf for me. Thank you so much. This is the sweetest thing any pony's ever done for me. 
<laughs> also, I'm a lesbian. So see you later. Yeah, uh, or no. Or, or. <laughs> I like you too. No. <sighs> what? No, go away, you three. I don't. Minute. You didn't see the season two finale. Have they been with you this whole time? Don't give me that crap. Mm. I'm Big Mac's little sister, and these are my friends. My name's Little Mac. We're sorry for everything we put you through today, Sugar Bell. Big Mac never would have gone through with all of those crazy, uh, over the top, downright ridiculous attempts to impress you if we hadn't put him up to it. But we learned our. You should have kept going. Should have. This isn't about impressing some pony. It's about doing something that means something special to that pony. Should have completely life. driven her away. <clears throat> Lack a lot. Uh, Apple Bloom? I think they get it. N no. <laughs> oh no, what is. Oh no, the, the building's collapsing. It's gonna fall right on Sugar Bell. Hey, here's our savior. Isn't he so romantic? Look at this guy. He's got the, the highlighted tips and everything. Yeah. Sorry, He's doing like that one movie thing. Too late. Yeah, Sugar Bell's already picked her special sum pony. Hey, that doesn't mean you can't quit him. Hit him and quit him. Not so secret admirers right behind you. <sighs> I hope he's in the polygamy. <laughs> uh, what should I say to them? Uh, you're asking us for advice? Mm hmm. Look, clearly I the best idea. Poetry and juggle, but actually talking to a pony, oh, it scares me almost as much as loneliness. Will you help me, please? I'm afraid of Gee, commitment. I don't know about this. He just needs a little nudge in the conversation department. Besides, I don't think Big Mac's ready to leave just yet. Sweetie, grab the fairy tale book. We have Let's another cliche romantic. Plot to go along with. I like the hair flip. And the hair. Oh man! Oh, Sweetie's gonna ruin this for him. Sweetie wants feather bangs all to herself. What the. No. No, that didn't. No. I think. Guys, I think I downloaded a, a fan episode by accident. Too bad this isn't canon. I. What, what a shame. The last 20 minutes have been all just imaginary. Just take a, a steak and shove it right into my mouth, because that's delicious. But then take a sword and stab it right, right through the artery, right through the heart. And just jerk it back out and let the blood just flow forth. And I'll just, I'll just lie here and, and die slowly. And everything will be okay again, because then, as I'm dying and my life flashes before my eyes, then I will see the pictures of Big Mac shipped with not Sugar Bell. And that will be, that will be a good time, a good last image in my dying moments as I uh, slowly drift off into the great beyond. <sighs> Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that was Season 7, Episode 8. Hard to say anything. I look forward to Season 7, Episode 9. Wow, what a crazy dream that last one was. They killed it, guys. Becky Wangberg is a murderer. They... They they took the ships and... And they just buried them alive, screaming in agony. I mean, my... They ripped that, that Marble Mac just in twain. They, they took the Chiramac ship and they, like, put it on the ground and just stomped on it repeatedly. Like, that one got the full brunt of everything there. On the other hand, the most interesting thing about this episode is that they put an established character in a romantic relationship. That's a pretty big deal, and in a show like this, those relationships don't break. They're pretty much set in stone. I'm really curious as to what this might imply for the future of the series, if this is setting a precedent, or this is a one-off thing. It would be very odd to see the creators pair up one of the main characters with another pony, but this episode shows us that secondary ponies are fair game. Like, maybe Cheerilee will find herself some pony. And I don't- I don't like the way they threw Cheerilee under the bus in this episode. 
yes, I admit, Hearts and Hooves Day, a bad way to ship two characters, but Big Mac and Cheerilee were totally still friends. It could have worked, and they were two established characters, which is part of my problem with this episode, is that we do not know Sugar Bell. The buildup was absent. I did not feel much reason to root for these two getting together, other than, hey, it's the premise of the episode. If we had seen interactions or heard offhand comments in previous episodes, I would have been more on board at the outset. And although Marble Mac was the cutest darn thing in existence, my comments on the shipping are half in jest. I would have been fine with the storyline destroying, utterly annihilating my dreams if it had felt more earned. Hopefully they do more later to develop the relationship, because I think Big Mac deserves that. They might, they might not. We've never seen the show really tackle something like that before. We could just get a wedding next season. Until we see where it goes, for now, it feels like a bit of a missed opportunity. Back to the episode, outside of just the simple idea of shipping a long-established character, I am not the biggest fan of this episode. The dialogue just felt a little off to me in the first half. The CMC felt a bit like their pre-Cutie Mark selves, and I was not their biggest fan pre-Season 5. The speed at which Big Mac caved in, accepted that they were there, and gave in to their advice may have been a result of the timing constraints on the episode. And the tropes at play here, the over-the-top attempts at romance, the love triangle, that hurt more than Rarity's attempts to bond with her sister in Forever Philly. That said, the music scene is my favorite one, and I saw a lot of people saying that was the cringiest part, but I appreciate that they just went for it. That's the next epic rap battle of Equestria right there, Big Mac's country stylings against Featherbang's new age boy band charm. I like Featherbang's too, he didn't really do anything wrong. I saw people hating on him because he's apparently very Justin Bieber-esque, but I enjoy that joke, and also that I saw Mando Pony in him first. Disregarding everything else, I would not have been bothered if she got together with him. And as I said, it would have been great if she didn't actually get with either of them. I think it could have actually helped the moral and even left room for a follow-up episode. But that was never gonna happen, not in this show. I hope this relationship goes somewhere. I hope they make them an awesome couple and retroactively improve what we saw here. Regardless of personal opinions, this episode was a pretty big deal, like Parental Glidance was. Some major events are happening in the world of MLP, and I hope they take steps to flush them out further. We'll see for ourselves as the season progresses. So thank you for watching everyone, and until next time, remember, don't try to kiss sleeping people in public that you're not in a romantic relationship with. That is a bad idea. For real.